Shavnam Diaries Podcast Hare Krishna, we are continuing to read Bhagavad Gita as it is, the book by His Divine Grace, Abhay Chiranaravinda, Bhakti Vedanta Swami Srila Prabhupada, Chapter 14, The Three Modes of Nature, Text 18. Urdvam gachanti sattvastha madhye tishtanti rajasaha Jaganya gunavrittistha adho gachanti tamasaha Those situated in the mode of goodness gradually go upward to the higher planets. Those in the mode of passion live on the earthly planets. And those in the abominable mode of ignorance go down to the hellish worlds. Purport. In this verse, the results of actions in the three modes of nature are more explicitly set forth. There is an upper planetary system consisting of the heavenly planets, where everyone is highly elevated. According to the degree of development of the mode of goodness, the living entity can be transferred to various planets in the system. The highest planet is Satyaloka, or Brahmaloka, where the prime person of this universe, Lord Brahma, resides. We have already seen that we can hardly calculate the wondrous condition of life in Brahmaloka. But the highest condition of life, the mode of goodness, can bring us to this. The mode of passion is mixed. It is in the middle, between the modes of goodness and ignorance. A person is not always pure, but even if he should be purely in the mode of passion, he will simply remain on this earth as a king or a rich man. Hmm, interesting, right? Mind you, people usually say that if you are super rich, then you are very, very pious. And this is like very sattvic. I've heard this misconception. Actually, if you are purely in the mode of rajas, purely, then you will be a rich man or a king. You know, like, sometimes people consider that, like, Rajas, it's necessarily, like, this crazy fellow with wicked hair, you know, like, red eyes, saying, give me money, give me more, you know? (laughs) Sometimes they can be very sophisticated, they can be very peaceful and calm, so-called, right? But their mentality is, give me more money and give me more this and give me more that and you know so yeah it can be a rich man it can be a king they live in a clean place you know like a bit can't cleanliness people think that just because a person is clean he's very sattvic but you know we have to really understand what is really mode of goodness and what is this is pure rajas remain on earth as a rich king or a rich man or a king and next, uh, Prabhupada writes, but because there are mixtures, one can also go down. People on this earth, in the mode of passion or ignorance, cannot forcibly approach the higher planets by machine. In the mode of passion, there is also the chance of becoming mad in the next life. Or in this life, isn't it? The lowest quality, the mode of ignorance, is described here as abominable. The result of developing ignorance is very, very risky. It is the lowest quality in material nature. Beneath the human level, there are 8 million species of life. Birds, beasts, reptiles, trees, etc. And according to the development of the mode of ignorance, 
people are brought down to these abominable conditions. The word tamasa is very significant here. Tamasa indicates those who stay continuously in the mode of ignorance without rising to a higher mode. Their future is very dark. There is an opportunity for men in the mode of ignorance and passion to be elevated to the mode of goodness, and that system is called Krishna Consciousness. But one who does not take advantage of this opportunity will certainly continue in the lower modes. Hmm. Yes. Well, this is a very important point to remember. I mean, again, coming back to identifying the mode of what is the difference between real mode of goodness and pure mode of passion. So passion and ignorance, that will get us that crazy fellow who is running after sense gratification. But, you know, you can be quite... Basically, rajas, I would say it's... Well, basically, uh, I would mistake a lot of times what is like rajas and what is goodness, I would say. That's for sure. Because, like, just recently I was watching different recipes on Instagram. Um, recipes, vegan recipes. And, you know, the vegan people, they're very, very common these days. And um, one would say that vegan people are very sattvic, right? They're very, they're not non-violent, they eat vegetables. But at the same time... Um, you, you watch these videos and every video starts with them cooking something and then taking a bite and then enjoying it. And then today I was reading in third canto of Bhagavatam, Kapila Dev. He was saying that um, materialistic life means uh, taking care of your tongue, belly and genitals. That's all you care for. So, and that's very, that's also like rajas means you remain on earthly planets rajas yes you want something to eat you want some you know and it's rajas it's just because everything is looks clean and the person is not shouting he like looks peaceful and because the food is like vegetables you know it doesn't necessarily mean this is all mode of goodness <laughs> because mode of goodness elevates you to higher planets this is really like I for me like this I'm just trying to verb word it out to really make a point because I used to say that anybody who is like pure and pious mode of goodness you know <laughs> but no it's not mode of passion can be quite polished yeah that's what the conclusion is Okay, text 19. Nanyam gune kartaram Yada drashtanu pashyati Gune byascha param veti Madbhavam so dhigachati When one properly sees that in all activities no other performer is at work than these three modes of nature and he knows the Supreme Lord who is transcendental to all these modes. He attains my spiritual nature. Purport. One can transcend all the activities of the modes of material nature simply by understanding them properly, by learning from the proper souls. The real spiritual master is Krishna, and he is imparting this spiritual knowledge to Arjuna. Similarly, it is from those who are fully in Krishna consciousness that one has to learn, learn this science of activities in terms of the modes of nature. Otherwise, one's life will be misdirected. 
by the instruction of a bona fide spiritual master. A living entity can know of his spiritual position, his material body, his senses, how he is entrapped, and how he is under the spell of the material modes of nature. Hmm. He is helpless, being in the grip of these modes. But when he can see his real position, then he can attain to the transcendental platform, having the scope for spiritual life. Actually, the living entity is not the performer of different activities. He is forced to act because he is situated in a particular type of body, conducted by some particular mode of material nature. Excuse me. Mm, yeah, sorry. Uh, he is forced to act because he is situated in a particular type of body conducted by some particular mode of material nature. Unless one has the help of spiritual authority, he cannot understand in what position he is actually situated. With the association of a bona fide spiritual master, he can see his real position, and by such an understanding, he can become fixed in full Krishna consciousness. A man in Krishna consciousness is not controlled by the spell of the material modes of nature. It has already been stated in the seventh chapter that one who has surrendered to Krishna is relieved from the activities of material nature. For one who is able to see things as they are, the influence of material nature gradually ceases. A man in Krishna consciousness is not controlled by the spell of the material modes of nature. It has already been stated in the seventh chapter that one who has surrendered to Krishna is relieved from the activities of material nature. For one who is able to see things as they are, the influence of material nature gradually ceases. Yeah, and one thing we can surely appreciate after studying this chapter is how badly we are controlled by the spell of material modes of nature and the fact that being in Krishna consciousness is really not a cheap thing. It's a... Yeah. Like Prabhupada mentioned in the previous verse also that by taking advantage of this opportunity Krishna consciousness, we can be elevated from the mode of ignorance and passion. Even that elevation for us, Kali Yuga people, is really a big step forward. Big step forward. Really. Like, <laughs> I'm telling you, like, a couple of years back, I was thinking that just, you know, cleaning your apartment and just, you know, like, everything is just maintaining everything like just clean that's i'm already i'm in the mode of goodness you know <laughs> but what's inside of your heart what are your hankerings what are your ambitions what are your that's also counted so inside and outside developing mode of goodness but it's only possible if you're practicing if you're approaching krishna consciousness then you can actually develop mode of goodness and higher than that because as we learned before mode of goodness can also bind you jai so the influence of material nature gradually ceases jai hari krishna we'll continue tomorrow Thank you so much for tuning in today. The book links, previous episodes, timeline, and biography of the author can be found on shravanamdiaries.com. The link is in the description, and we shall see you tomorrow. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna.